I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Man, she not in speech with nothing around you. Hey, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you had desires. Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. The company we'll be working with today is Hurella Hair. They sent me a 24 inch 13 by 4 HD lace body wave wig. It came in 150% density and pre plucked. Off camera, I did a bleach bath and colored this wig red. I also added two bundles to the wig to give it a very, very full look. Check the description box below to see the link to a video showing you how I color my wigs from black to red. This is the wig and this is my boo Jen. Tell y'all hey. And right now we're just going ahead and we're positioning that wig on her head. Like I said, I did add two bundles in the back of the wig just to give it a more fuller look because I wanted a real voluminous look for this wig. And I also colored it red off camera. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box to show you a video of how I color my wigs red. Um, yeah, so let's get into this process. After we cut her ear tabs, I'm making sure that I sew this wig down very good because this wig has a lot of hair in it. So I want to make sure that, you know, it's really secure. And even though I do this normal stitch around the perimeter of the head, after I glue the wig down, I always go back in in the middle of the wig, like where the tracks still are. And I make a stitch across the middle just to reinforce that this wig is not going anywhere. Right now, I'm, I'm applying my glue on her head and smoothing it back as thin and as neatly as possible. Y'all already know I'm going to use four layers. Y'all know the drill. Her fourth layer is dry, so now I'm proceeding to lay that lace down. You already know you're going to use the teeth of the comb to help you push the lace into the skin. And then you're going to start blow drying it on high heat and then hit it with some cold heat. Not cold heat, cold air. <laughs> Today we're going to do a middle part, so I'm going ahead and parting that off. And then after that, we're going to tie her down with the elastic band and put her under a medium heat overhead dryer for about 10 minutes. She is back from being up under the dryer and we also blow dry her wig um, straight as well. So now we're about to proceed to cut this lace off.
To ensure the top of your wig is flat, I'm using my Care Care Wax Stick and my Beyond Design Turn Up The Heat Spray, and we're just gonna hot comb that down. Now I'm going to separate out my baby hairs and then we're going to spray the lace with hairspray and then tie that down with our elastic band. So right now I'm going to show y'all how I layered the hair. I'm just pulling it up at an angle and cutting off about, I want to say about three inches and I'm going to do that all the way around. Um, I wanted to include this in the video because I don't really show y'all this anymore, but I most definitely layer my hair before I curl it anytime. Everything I did on that side, I'm going to repeat on the other side off camera. And now I'm going to cut my face framing layers. I just take a section of the hair, line it up with her chin, and then we're going to cut it diagonally downwards. And we're going to do that on both sides as well. Time to have 
So now we're gonna take that elastic band off and get to cutting her baby hairs and swooping them right into place. I like to use a uh, foam wrap or mousse, whatever y'all call it. Just make sure it's alcohol free. So now I'm going to curl her hair using my T3 1.5, that's one and a half inch curling iron, just to give her some big sexy curls. Nothing like too, too defined, nothing too tight, like we just want to get her hair like some body, but we don't want it like super loose either, like loose to the point where it looks like beach waves. We just want to give some sexy body to the hair, you know, nothing major. After I curl each curl, I like to pin it to the head. And then once I get done with all the curls, I spray the hair with Sebastian hairspray. And yeah, y'all already know how I curl. Like, I, I pretty much, I, I almost curl on every tutorial. Like, really? But yeah. Her edges are done being dry and we are done curling her hair. So now I'm about to take out all her pin curls and then we're gonna get this part together. Um, I did comb her baby hairs out off camera and trim them down and also hairspray them back into place. I didn't show that cause y'all that be a tedious process and I be having to focus. But y'all already know the vibes, come on. So now I'm just taking that hot comb and I'm smoothing the top of her wig again just to make sure, you know, there's no humps, no lumps, no, you know, no breakups in the hair. Just everything is good and laid down. 
And now we're about to get this part together. So I want to take my wrap strip and cover the very front of her lace. And then we're gonna take our High Beams Intense Burgundy Spray by Salon Graphics, lay our rat tail comb in her part and spray it with our hairspray at a distance. Blow dry this into place and this is gonna make your part sharper. We put the wrap strip on the front of her lace because girl, if you get the spray on your lace, your install is done for. You're gonna to have to literally take the whole wig off, wash it and put it back on. To make sure her part is very visible, I put some powder in her part. You can use powder or concealer, whatever floats your boat, you know, it doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that her part was visible, so I put some powder in there. And then we're going to take our freeze spray, lock that into place, and now her part looks 10 times better, like you can see it. And after that, we're going to spray everything with some Beyond the Zone, you know, to give it a beautiful shine and to also minimize frizz because we're about to comb these curls out. And y'all know I had to hot comb the front part up because the girls love them a little hump. Like, come on. So now we're about to comb these curls out. And y'all, when I tell y'all this week was beautiful, oh my God. Y'all, look at how sexy this hair is. Oh my God, I'm having a hairgasm. The red with the curls, with the body, with the, oh, it's just, it just gave everything it needed to give. Like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Like, I can't even lie, like, I did that one. I really did. Once again, this is a 24-inch body weight wig from Hurella Hair. I did add two bundles for extra fullness. I also custom colored this wig off camera. We did this beautiful body middle part look, and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you check the description box for a link to figure out how I colored this wig red and link to this wig. Goodbye.